feel it. All right. Welcome back. This is just a follow-up video from my yesterday video, the tutorial how to install this Windows 11 on Android WOA Windows on ARM Pocopon F1 for the Novatech and Pocaltech NBT FTS is to I think there's another uh, type of LCD BOE but I haven't seen that one and I'm not sure so but so far what I know Novatech and Focal Tech to know which of the LCD you got you download the SW info from Play Store and see over here Command for this is EBBG and FTS. This is a FTS EBBG, the LCD inside, outside the, the touch screen, are FTS and another one, the Tianma, Tianma and NVT. I got two LCD actually this is my original LCD for this POCO uh, this FTS recently I bought it and this is this uh, NBT this one's still good since 2018 NBT uh, touchscreen this is uh, original you see you can see the and to cool down the CPU further more I add this uh, piece of copper sheet it's not so thick and it's not so thin also just enough uh, maybe 0 0.2 mm somewhere there too thin not so good not too thick uh, your motherboard will be a bit too high 0 0.2 is uh, the best the heat transfer are better on copper compared to this uh, alloy body Alright, I will transfer the motherboard over here and see whether the NVT will work. Let's see. Don't mix the screw. The thermal paste. You need this because the original already hardened and the heat transfer not so good. There is another copper, very thin copper plate underneath the CPU and a lot of thermal paste yeah. 
also copper plate and the big battery this is a 5000 mAh battery uh, this is what I don't like removing this from Alipat is it original? I'm not sure this is the box local seller over here in Malaysia right really stubborn this blue underneath the battery but managed to pull it safely without damaging the battery this is the size the model CP11 P1706 this is for Asus maybe I want to use another size the 6000 the 6000 mm the, the cable the charging cable you have to put underneath the battery okay. at the moment it's on top and the cover maybe not a problem because this thing is plastic it's flexible right transfer to NBT very tiny all right already transplant FTS this one is NBT as you can see NBT Tianma Okay, let's try to put to windows this why this volume very tiny restart wait need to The volume need a what do you call this? Double side tape to hold it in place. Let's see from the previous uh, Windows driver. Sure, it's not uh, detect because I'm using the RC one. The RC1, the NBT driver are not included. You must use the RC2. Install the mesh. So install this. Oh, my, my micro SD. Well, well, well. Is it this way? wrong way it will not insert in this Tianma Tianma and the root the root no cover the, oh, 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 sorry Letter on, I put this one. It will auto boot nine second four three two one. The touch screen will not work because the driver. If I use the RC2, sure. Maybe after this, I reinstall the Windows 11. FTS 
original <laughs> very cheap over here in Malaysia around 100 ringgit The driver are not include. I reinstall the windows and let's see. All right, already reinstall the windows on this NVT. Come on, focus, 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 and you look. Tianma and GTS. This one FTS or the change swap the LCD. This one got the casing. All right, let's put two window before this. The driver are not available for this one but since the RC1 don't have the MT368 for that driver the Navatec M3 uh, sorry MT368 get it from the RC2 driver and don't use the RC2, get the NTXX, NT36XX from the RC2, move it to the RC1, use the RC1 driver, because the RC2, sure, you will get a BCOD, blue screen of that. Okay, we'll start the recovery, to switch to Windows. Also can use the boot UEFI modified. There's an option there. Boot to window, boot to Android. Uh, maybe next time I'll show you how to modify the boot UEFI. The boot important. The boot UEFI. So I want to put into Windows. I reinstall the image. Next OSD. Install image. There is two images over here. Look carefully. EBBG and Tianma. If you use uh, FTS, use the FTS boot image. If yours are NBT, use the NBT, the Tianma. At the moment, this display are Tianma. So, boot. This one EBBG. On the video, I'm using this one. The procedure are the same. Just follow the video. Over here, you can modify Android, TWRP. Just select this one and Windows. That's very simple, but since you always change uh, the ROM, the custom ROM, then better don't use that one. Back up your boot image, unload boot image to your TWRP. From the uh, TWRP, the recovery, you switch to Window or Android. By that way, it's uh, more safer. If you often change the Android, then see it's working. NBT. Not a problem. NBT FTS. For the CD are uh, the same. Okay, if I say yes, I'm sure it's a yes. 
I don't bluff. If I say no, that means it's a no. If I say you need to back up, then back up the QCN, the EFS, all the file, right? It's crashing. Crashing because I'm using the latest uh, ISO, the Windows 11. Right, that's it. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. I will play. I will be playing game on this Windows 11.